And you're going to miss Jaden when he goes? Um, uh, yeah, I think so, a little bit. Nah, um, nah, he's probably my best mate, as he, as he said. Uh, um, you know, he's my brother for life. And, you know, we've done, a, um, you know, when, when I first, um, you know, when we first met each other and, you know, we, we sort of uh, talked about being, you know, the, the back rows for the, for the club and um, wanted, to be, wanted to be known as like a, like a duo, like Bash Brothers and that. So um, we're probably not there yet, but hopefully, um, you know, we can, we can um, put into, into the game coming up. So, yeah. Kevin, I remember talking to Damien Cook pre-season last year and he said, you know, who, who have we got to look forward to? Who's someone we should keep an eye on? And he said, you. You've, you've, this year has been unbelievable. It's been your breakout season. You know, you got a taste of being in and around Origin. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember him saying that. And uh, at the time, I probably didn't believe it, but um, just uh, I, I just put my head down and just uh, worked as hard as I could. And, um, you know, I, I'm just a believer in, in hard work and, you know, uh, you, you just do work as hard as you can and just um, live with the results. And um, I've just been grateful enough to be, be able to get opportunities and like with the Origin team and, you know, I, I never in my wildest dreams thought I would have got that. And, um, you know, everything just sort of came from that. So um, still sort of surreal for me and uh, just, you know, just trying to do my best for the team and, and for myself and my family. That obviously had to work in your favour to, you know, to fit for your belief, for your confidence in terms of being even talked about and in and around that, that Origin arena. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember when Freddie, um, I, a lot of you probably know that I, I didn't, I didn't have his number at the time, and I thought it was, a, it was a prank. So, um, when he, when he finally called me and told me to come, I, I, um, I was pretty shocked and seeing like all the, all the top players in, in the comp. Um, you know, I used to always watch them on TV, and, you know, getting to, you know, hang with them, um, every day and get to, you know, learn what, the, what it's all about to become one of the best in the game. You know. Um, it just sort of, you know, helped help me and, you know, put my head um, head back on my shoulders and just made me work um, want to work harder for, for myself and, you know, try and get the best that I can out of my out of my ability that I have. Leadership's a big thing. A lot of players say that that's what they take from the Origin Arena back into their club. Like you're entering, you know, the finals arena now, but what else besides leadership? What what did you take from your time there around those elite players that you brought back to the club? Um, probably um, just le- um, using my voice and leading from the front. Um I know all of all of them. Uh, when they go back to their to their teams, you know they they leave from the front and um, they don't wait for someone to do it. And that's what I just try to do. Like you know, help the help the younger boys. You know, come through like Taffy and um, a lot of the younger boys that haven't played much grade before. Just try to lead by example and show them that you know you're here for a reason and um, you know you haven't come all this way just to just to be nothing. You know, so you just make the most of your opportunity. And um, that's what I just try to do. Is just um, you know just leave from the front. So clearly, it must be your on a lighter side, it must be your ability that's getting you through because you were warned by Bennett to get your hair cut and <laughs> you haven't done that. Yes, um, yeah, I, I'm surprised. A lot of the boys get, um, asked me if he's asked me about getting a haircut and I said, nah, so um, hopefully it's because I'm playing good, so I just got to keep doing that. So. And how's the hair, how's the hairdressing, the barber? Are you still doing that? Is it still? Oh, in the bubble, um, I cut a few people's hair. I, I was cutting my hair before my partner came um, when she was in quarantine, but um, now nah, she's cutting it now, so I'm just, I'm off the clippers now. Just worry about, um, Hopefully getting a ring. Who did you look up to? Who was your, when you were coming through, who did you model your game on or who were your favourite players to watch? Uh, my favourite player was um, Sonny Bill coming up. Um, I got the chance to play him last year and that was probably one of my highlights of my career so far. Um, you know, watching him, I, I was a Bulldog supporter growing up, so he was my he was my idol. I wanted to be like him. Everyone in the team, Willie Mason, Renny Matua, um, Willie Tonga, um, Benji as well. Everyone wanted to be like him. Um, but yeah, probably Sonny Bill and yeah, it was probably a dream come true versing him last year and getting to tackle him in that. That's pretty mad. Do you feel a bit starstruck coming up against him? Yeah, um, I remember when he came on, I, I, I was looking at the big screen because the, the camera was on him and I, um, I was going to take it off kickoff and I was like, I'm not running at him. So, <laughs> yeah, I ran the other way. <laughs> and what about your history with Cam as well? I mean, um, Nippers or whatever it was together, you've got quite a lengthy history with him and, and playing alongside him. And Yeah, we've um, done a lot of things together. You know, we played um mascot since we were six we've i think we've played basketball we've played cricket together we played like pretty much everything um yeah nippers and um you know just uh it's pretty crazy that um you know i've known a guy since i was six and you know we're here together playing in the same team still so um yeah it just shows um you know the bond that we have and you know um i just love playing with him and he's probably one of the best players that i've played with so far did you trust him to save your life now yeah 100 yeah <laughs> I'll go on Zoom. Thank you. Hey, Ken. Uh, you mentioned Wayne in the haircut. 
what's he like as a coach? Obviously, um, he's let you get away with a haircut, but has he get you let you get away with some jokes and make some fun of him? Um, yeah, everyone, a lot of the boys put on him, um, especially um, Benji, uh, Benji and and Reno. You know, they always um, give it to him, and you know, he loves to joke around. Um, a lot of people think he's. Um, very serious, but he's probably the opposite around us. He's, um, you know, he loves a joke and just loves um, getting the boys all around each other and just to make sure we have a good time together. Hey, Cameron, it's Matt from Wild Water Sports here. Um, first of all, congrats on the win. I was just wondering, um, what um, what sort of changes to your approach did you guys make as a forward pack going into this uh, third game against Penrith this year that sort of led to you guys having a much better result against their forward pack? Um, well, first of all, we, we know... Um, you know what we can do as a as a forward pack um, when we're on on our A game, and you know obviously the last two times we versus Penrith, um, you know they gave it to us through the middle. So um, we knew we knew that we had to start hard and and start fast, and um, I think that's what we did, and we just had to keep that up for the whole eighty because we knew that they'd they'd grind the whole game and they'd keep coming, and um, you know we just had to you know weather that storm, and um, you know credit to the boys, we we did that, and. Um, it was a it was a very tough game, and I'm just glad that you know um, we got got the job done, and um, and yeah. Hey, Keon, Stephen Ivan, Stephen Ivan, Rabideau, Rabideau, TV, Rabideau, big TV, performance TV. on uh, the game. Uh, 41 game. tackles, no misses, and then that iconic photo surface the view after the game that was brilliant. Yeah, um, I, I was I was blown I was blown a bit in the game. Um, you know, I, I got suspended for two weeks, so my match fitness uh, went down a bit, but. Um, I, I just wanted to turn up for the boys and I give my best effort, you know, um, because, you know, it was such a big game for all of us. So I just wanted to give my, my best effort. And, um, and yeah, the photo, yeah, um, I just, you know, I just had a lot of emotions at the time and, you know, just um, let it all out, I guess, and got, got caught on camera. <laughs> it was a brilliant image, mate, and I know the fans loved it. So good luck this week, buddy. buddy. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Hey, Keon, can I just ask what you learned from... The prelim final last year, personally. Um, I, I was probably I, I only played like a couple of games last year, so um, coming into the into the prelim, I was very nervous, and um, probably from last year, I learned um, just to you know just to tr sort of treat it like another game and don't don't overdo it in, in my brain and don't overthink stuff. Just just do what I've been doing all year, and um, you know just live with the result and just give it give it my all and give it, give it all all for my team and just see what happens. So I just try not to make it complicated. I just try to sim um, simplify as much as I can and just do my job for the team and that's all I can do. Did it sort of motivate you after, like throughout the pre-season after that result? Because a lot of the boys had experienced, you know, a couple of prelim defeats before as well. Yeah, obviously you don't want to end your season like that. You want to end up um, on top and, you know, obviously when you when you lose like that, you want to you want to come back next year and uh, sort of have a re redemption season and, um, you know, obviously you want to make, make amends and, you know, it's been... Uh, this is our fourth prelim, you know, so we don't want to want to be want to be known as a team that just gets to the prelim every year. So hopefully we get to go a step further this year and, and get the job done. And just last one for me, you mentioned like the suspensions and stuff. Does that play on your mind at all this time of the year, like especially in a game like this, or you know, has Wayne spoken to you around that, or where are you at with it? Oh no, just um, you know, just do what you know, just control what you can do, and don't don't do anything stupid. But you know, some some stuff you just you just get caught, unfortunately, and you can't do much about it, but you just try and avoid um, the stuff that you can, you know, get in trouble for. And I've been um, victim of that twice this year. So uh, I'm just very careful now with with um, my tackle selection, how um be careful of the opponent's necks and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, with your question, like we don't, uh, I don't really think about, you know, get, um, not getting suspended uh, in the game. I just, just do, it doesn't really, it goes out the window in my mind, to be honest. Okay, on just on that, Scott Bailey from AFP, did you, was there a point at all when you got suspended right in the, at the end of the regular season where you think, am I going to get my spot back here? Am I going to get a starting spot back? Or is that sort of, you're always pretty confident, Wayne told us straight away? Oh, no. Um, you know, obviously we have a great team here. People just um, slip into the into the uh, positions. But uh, Wayne sort of uh, spoke to me just to keep my head up and um, I'm not going to lose my spot. So that gave me a bit of confidence and I'm um, just... Uh, put my head down and work hard for the two weeks, try and get into the best shape I could for, for the game coming up. And um, so, yeah, just, yeah, Wayne, Wayne told me what was up.